that makes it? That is the company that Alaria. makes it. Alaria. Cat Hump Delete. Cat Hump Delete. Cat, if you're a dog person. Yeah. So if you're a dog person, click off. This is for cat people only. Today, we got the Alaria Cat Hump Delete, right? So if you have an S14 and it's got full interior, you're going to spend a good three hours <laughs> removing everything. You do have to take out the crash bar that's in the car. Have it sitting over here. Um, fold over the carpet. Ideally, remove the entire carpet um, so you won't get, you know, dust and crap all over it. But I'll vacuum it afterwards. It's all right. And once, oh, you also have to unbolt the e-brake. Get it out of the way. Uh, and then unbolt that little stop thing. And then you have to unbolt the steering column and then zip tie it off to the side. And then you should be fine. So, cat hump delete. Alaria. I believe that's the name of the company. They have a video that kind of pretty much says, you know, good luck. <laughs> My video, I'm going to tell you, good luck. <laughs> There's nothing technical going on over here, but I do know a few things. We got to take out the center section out. Got to get it out of there. Uh, we're going to cut all along over here. Your transmission mount is right on the other side, so I'm a little afraid. I'm actually, I'll, I'll check if I have to remove the trans. I don't know yet, but... Um, yeah, let's first start by cutting this guy out and then go from there. All right, so can confirm. Um, I'm going to put this upside down and then editing me flip it again. Okay. And then if you look, put an arrow where it's, the line's going to go and then the mount should avoid it. So we're good. And then editing me flip it back around. Sick. So I do have a CD09 trans with, you know, different trans mount and so i am pretty sure that i can just cut along over here oops cut along over here which is like an inch half an inch away from this hump and we should be good we should clear everything but like i said first let's take out the center guy all right so we have a little bit of sound deadening in the way of the metal right here so what i'm doing is i'm getting a screwdriver and just like flicking it outwards and i know what you're wondering you're probably saying george just remove all the sound deadening. And to that, I say, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't want to do it right now. I'll, I'll do it a different day. Today is not the day. I'm just going to cut this out, flip it on over, just so I can get to the spot welds, and um, take out this piece of metal. You're going to head over to Harbor Freight, buy this $3 spot welder remover tool. Also at Harbor Freight, $7 punch tool. And then you're gonna hate your life the rest of the day because you gotta cut out these spot welds and you're gonna realize that it doesn't work very well and it kind of jumps around and it's super annoying to do, but if you just do it nice and patiently, it just works out. Yeah. Already skipped. Skip again. Five hours later, you just finally get through the metal, like like so. All right, not bad. Once you get through 11 spot welds and you get to the cat hump area, which your last two spot welds are by this hole here, you can fold it up and then start cutting out the cat hump. I'm probably gonna cut across this so I can put the cat hump over and then kind of trace a rough outline of where I'm gonna go. I know I have to go half an inch away from this little lip here. So I'm probably just gonna draw a straight line down there and then just as much as I can all the way around and then go up and cut less, mock it, then cut more.
We made a bunch more progress. Wire wheel to remove the sound deadening adhesive that was under. Um, for me, again, I wasn't taking out all the sound deadening, not yet. I'm just trying to knock out this cat hump delete to get a seat in here so we can start getting fitment on other stuff. Once I cut over and I cut around, you know, I made a hole so I can get this in the hole and I can get kind of a general idea of how much material I need to remove because if you look right above there's a there's a line and uh, there was a little bit of massaging I had to do right here was this little hump kind of like one of these humps and I just ended up hammering it down just so this is more flat and I can get that much you know of a cleaner look and it looks like everything's gonna go just fine it's my trans mount is hitting the plate I don't know how much I like that, but as you can see, everything is nice and flat all the way around. And then once we get to this part, I'm assuming you tack everything around and then just apply a lot of force down here and get it all tacked up. But I'm pretty much ready for welding. Um, I ended up cutting the spot welds up to the e-brake bracket. The e-brake bolts up to these two right here. And, um, took out these three spot welds, kind of bent it up and then cut across and then cut what I could and cleaned it up and got that all out of the way. I think I'm ready to weld in. I'm gonna need a second person to apply pressure as I'm going. And I think that calls it done for the plate. All right, man, we're on day number, the next one for us. And Nick, after heavy scientific research on his laptop, <laughs> we figured out uh, if you do this, and your transmission's in the car, and you're running a CD09, and you're running like this style trans mount, your plate is gonna hit. And I cut some, some metal back, you know? I got it nice. This is pretty much... Let me see if I could get this with one hand. That's as good as it's gonna get. And that's pretty close. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm just gonna weld it in like that. It is touching, it is grazing back there, but I think once the plate's mounted, I'll just like, hit it with a little bit of hammering over there just so I can you know mount and dismount the trans whenever but uh, I think we're ready to uh, prep the metal all the way around and start welding <laughs> Now that the cat hump delete plate is welded in, we're gonna move on to removing the sound deadening. Now I did that off camera, I have one clip of that. So another big reason why you wanna get all your noise sound deadening out is because you're gonna need all this surface area to kind of weld. Now that that's out, I'm making a custom seat bracket. Now this looks rough, all right? Nick over here, <coughs> hater, he's hating on my seat bracket because uh, according to him, he can do better, yo Roy. Uh, so I know Adam, in one of his videos, he talked about how you can get a universal seat bracket from NRG, throw that in, make it work, right? The, the issue with that is that even though you're throwing in a bracket that's 100 bucks, you're still drilling holes, you're still welding stuff in, so why, you know? Get some scrap metal, do it, it's fine. The route that I ended up taking is I bought some side seat rail, what are these called, man, seat brackets. I got some side mounted seat brackets, cut off the bottom, added these random plates, square tubing in the front with the flat bar, cause I want the rear as low to the ground as possible so I could fit. And then obviously, you know, getting that nice little incline in the front. Um, kind of figured out my seating position, welded those in, get the seat brackets um, bolted to the seat. And while it's bolted, I put it down, kind of measured it, uh, take out the seat, 
and then tack the things, bolt it back on, see if everything fits, and then we're gonna finalize welds. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a huge process. I wasn't gonna record any of that, but this is kind of like a general jank idea that's gonna work out great. Once the seat goes on, no one's gonna see it, except everybody that watches this, you know? Oh yeah. I think for the passenger side, I'll just get like an OEM mount and like OEM seat and just like mount it in, you know, normal. But the seat is finalized. It came out and in a bunch of times. I recorded some B-roll. I know I did. Yeah, I did. And so that's kind of what I was going with. It's not going nowhere. It's nice and stable on the car. The fiberglass is literally flexing. The whole car's moving. But um, that's it for the seat. Really top people friendly for sure. Um, me being in at 6'4", I got to show the headroom. <laughs> and with the seat planted to the ground, I have about whatever, what would you call that, man? Three? Three inches when I see it. <laughs> Bro! Bro! It's like three and a half. This dude, how do you know what three inches is, man? All right, so a good three and a half inches, three inches of headroom, and I'm 6'4". So if you're like 6'1", you're probably a little, little smaller, you're getting like four inches, but that's gonna be more than enough headroom that I need for a helmet. I'm not super worried about hitting um, this sidebar right here. I still might, who knows. But that's it for the Laria cat hump delete video. Um, I hope that the ending helped with the seat bracket and just again to give you a re uh, visual representation of what you're gonna do. But that's it, man. Let them know what they gotta do, man. Your favorite. Don't be tall. If you're tall, you have to do all this dumb stuff. <laughs> I don't wanna say a bad word, you know? Well, Yeah, don't be tall. Be well. a normal sized person and your life will be okay. Yeah, if you're tall, if you're tall go fix it. Fix it, cut your knees off. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, man. And then another thing too, that e-brake, when it's stabbing your leg, unbolt the back, leave the bolt in, and then just give it a good old gate. And look at this. Look at this right here. Anyways, that's it for the video. Let them know. Peace. That's it. Later. Gotta, gotta, gotta cover the camera, oh. the lens. Oh. Cover the lens. That's it. Peace. <laughs>